Okay, so I'm here at the James Woodland Institute and we're going to coat some field beans with uh, legume fix, uh, rhizobium inoculum to help the crop fix its own nitrogen. So it comes in a packet and on the outside you can see there's directions for use in, uh, uh, in several languages including English is the first one. And you've got two options of dry inoculation and damp inoculation. For the best coverage and the easiest coverage, I would suggest the damp inoculation. So the first thing with the packet is to open it up. There are instructions on the back of the packet, but we're going to just work through those as we go. Inside the packet, there's a, a sticky, finely milled peat, which is a carrier for the bacteria. And what we're aiming to do is get all of the seeds coated with this fine black powder, so that each of the seeds takes with it uh, a dose of bacteria into the ground, and they uh, will uh, uh, infect the root system as the seed starts to germinate. In the packet, you can let some air into the pack. This is a good idea because you get to uh, free up the, the, the peat without losing any out of the top of the packet. So although the packet looks like it's a freeze-dried coffee pouch when you get it, you should be able to loosen the, the peat up so it's a friable powder, a loose powder. One of the best ways to get the best coating effect is to add a small amount of water to the beans before you apply the product. So we're talking about 2 ml per kilo of seed. In the uh, drill box at the moment, we've got about 200 kilos of, of bean seed. And so what I've done is I've measured out just over 400 milliliters of water. The hardest part of the process because we're doing the first batch of beans, so we've got to get right down into the, the cone of the, of, the, of the drill. So we're adding a small amount of water. The uh, application rate is about four kilos per kilo of seed, and so in each of these packets you've got enough to treat 200 kilos. So we're going to start off treating this first side of the drill box and then move the seed over as we treat it. The first batch of beans you treat is the hardest, because you've got to try and get the inoculant into the cone of the drill where the <coughs> seed feeds through uh, into the uh, fancy equipment. What I would suggest is after the first batch, don't run the drill empty. Run it so until you've still got uh, maybe 50 kilos of seed in, and then you don't have to reach into the bottom of the drill box again. As you mix it onto the seed, you can instantly see that it coats the beans quite effectively. Okay, so the, that's a quite a heavy dose because obviously we haven't mixed it through yet, but that's the kind of effect you're looking for. So you see, we, it doesn't take very long to treat the seed. And what you can do with a little bit of experience is work out if you need to add more or less water uh, for the seeds that you've had delivered. With dry, dusty seeds, you probably need to add a little bit more. And if the seeds are, are nice and, and, and well cleaned, you, put, you might not even need to use any water at all. That's the kind of uh, finished look you want the seeds to have.